In this video, I will be showing how to use Unigraph's UCD301 to test HDMI sources such as set-top boxes, media players, laptops, and game consoles in a test automation environment for manufacturing lines. Unigraph's UCD301 is a HDMI and DisplayPort 4K analyzer. The test shown in this video is not limited to Unigraph's UCD301 and can be applied to all Unigraph's UCD analyzers. The test plan I will be showing includes capturing video and verifying timing with 4K at 60Hz resolution, HDCP test to check both HDCP 1.4 and 2.3 encryption, Audio test by playing and checking a sample WAV file. CRC video stability test. And finally, HDMI electrical test to check if the HDMI pins are properly soldered. With this test plan, you can ensure your HDMI source DUT fulfills its manufacturing testing requirements. Now I'll run through each of the tests and give you an explanation of how they work. The first test is capturing video and verifying 4K timing. To inspect the contents of test 1, I will open and inspect verify timing text file. As shown here, the script will write the specific EDID of 4K at 60Hz to UCD301. Then it will toggle hot plug detect to activate link training. Then it will verify if source is outputting the correct timing based on the EDID defined in the script. The EDID file will be located in the folder of the script. Run the batch file to execute the script. Once it is completed, you can see the timing parameters of 4K at 60Hz listed, and the test has passed. A bitmap file containing the captured image is generated in the folder of the script. For every test that is executed, a log file will be created automatically. This report shows the same information seen on the command prompt. Next, we will look at testing HDCP 1.4 and HDCP 2.3. Run batch file verify HDCP 1.4 sync to execute the script. The test checks if HDCP 1.4 encryption is active, if production keys are loaded, if HDCP 1.4 support is available on hardware, and if HDCP 1.4 support is available. If all these conditions are met, the test will pass. Similarly, if your DUT is running HDCP version 2.3, then you can run the batch file verify HDCP 2.3 sync, which will run the same HDCP checks. Inspect the log files to view the report of the results. The third test in line is the audio test. For the audio test, we have a sine wave playing at 1000 Hz with a sample rate of 44,000 100 Hertz, 16 bits per sample, and playing in two channels. There is a sample WAV file included in this folder, which you can load into your DUT to play back. The test will pass if audio playback is correct, and will simply fail if audio playback is not correct. Test number four is the CRC-based single frame video stability test. The test verifies if a video stream is stable. If the CRC values remain identical for the duration of the test, then the test passes. To configure the test parameters, we can open up UCD console and go to source DUT testing tab and into CRC tests. There, you can import the .td file, which is the file containing the test parameters. Once imported, you can configure the test name CRC-based single frame video stability test. Here, you can adjust the number of frames in the test length and the number of errors allowed. In this case, we are testing 200 frames and allowing zero errors. 
Select export to save the TD file into the folder with the CRC script. Run the batch file to execute the script. As we can see in command prompt, zero mismatches were found and therefore the test has passed. Test number five is the electrical test, which comprises of four tests to check if the pins are properly soldered on the DUT. Power test is testing pin 18. The test checks voltage level on the plus 5 volt power line of the DUT source. The test will measure the power line voltage with 0 milliamps load and with 55 milliamps load. Hot plug detect test is testing pin 19. HPD line test checks the cable and DUT source for short circuits in the power or ground. DDC and CEC test is testing pin 13, 15, 16, and 17. The test measures voltage from the SCL, SDA, and CEC lines. If the DDC or CEC line voltage levels are outside the defined ranges, the test fails. TMDS test is testing all TMDS pins from 1 to 12. The test measures average voltage levels on the TMDS signal lines. Execute the script to run all four tests. After the tests are completed, HDML reports for each test is automatically generated. By opening the HDML report, you can spec the test summary in more detail for the particular electrical test. Thank you for watching this video on testing HDMI sources with Unigraph's UCD301. For more information, please visit our website.